summer travel season is already on us and already many of you are dealing with long lines and delays at Louisville's airport. The airport uh, officials tell us they are expecting a record year with bookings up 22% from May to September of this year. Jim is joining us live from the airport right now and Jim, uh, SDF officials put out a travel advisory for those who are planning on flying this summer. Haley, they've put out two here in the last probably three days, Saturday all the way into yesterday. They put out another one saying that you need to get here at least two hours early, and then they changed that to say two and a half hours early just to be able to get on your flights. And we can definitely see why this morning. We've shown you some of the check in lines. Now take a look at the TSA security line. You can see this line extends all the way down to where TSA is over here. Well, let me show you something else. It goes all the way down this hallway, and it's even starting to wrap around the backside of this hallway. There are a lot of people out here looking to catch flights. And what I've seen right now is uh, airport officials starting to come around and checking to see who is on what flight. And if it is a flight that's leaving soon, they're trying to prioritize those passengers and sending them straight up to the front so they might be able to get through the lines and into uh, the terminal so that they can actually go and catch their flight. Now, airport officials are crediting all of this traffic to just high demand for summer travel at this point. In fact, they're saying that they've seen 22% rise in demand from this year uh, to last year. Now, the busiest times to catch a flight are right about where we're at right now, six o'clock to eight o'clock. That's what they're saying is the busiest travel time so far this summer. And travelers are getting very frustrated because of that. In fact, we were able to speak to some travelers yesterday who said that they don't even plan on flying out of Louisville again because of how bad this experience has been get to an airport three hours early for a, a simple domestic flight. I mean, that's just not acceptable. We won't fly out of Louisville in the foreseeable future if we have to. We'll even drive to Chicago or Nashville um, just to make sure that we are actually able to make our flights and then our future connections. And Eric and Haley, what I can tell you, just kind of the, probably the best uh, summarization of what this morning has been like for these travelers is every time somebody comes down here, takes a look at this line, and then turns this way to see where the actual security line ends, there's just a gasp and an oh my gosh, just shock and exasperation at that point because they've already spent about an hour in line just waiting to check in. This is a nightmare out here, and it's something that you might have to deal with for most of the summer. Haley? Jim, thank you so much. Now, for updates on any future, further travel issues, as we get them, you can go to our website, whs11.com, or have that WHS 11 News app downloaded.